How does a guy who lived off temporary gigs as a summer camp counselor and an English teacher end up making $2 million while visiting every country in the world, climbing the highest mountains, rowing across the Atlantic, and gaining the craziest life experiences, all from writing a blog? But we did it. <laughs> One more another. See you guys on the other side. Welcome to the most interesting people on the internet. Today, we're going to meet Johnny Ward, aka One Step Forward, and hear how he did it and why he believes that you can do it too. Johnny Ward is living the dream. He is one of the world's most successful bloggers, and he lives life like it's an endless vacation. But it wasn't always like that. Johnny grew up in a single parent family in Ireland. My dad wasn't around, it was just my mom, and she worked super hard just to put food on the table. So I never even dreamed that I could live a lifestyle like this. But because Johnny always wanted to travel, he started looking for temporary gigs as an English teacher in remote places. And then I figured that was the only way someone like me would be able to see the world. And it worked. Johnny found a job in Thailand, then another in South Korea. And in between, he got to see Asia. That was a life-changing experience, and Johnny wanted to tell the whole world how even if you come from a working-class background, you can still do cool things and find a way to travel. So he opened his blog called One Step Forward. So it wasn't my plan to become a, a full-time blogger. I just wanted to show every other working-class kid that there's a big world out there um, and there's a way to see it. Johnny's blog wasn't an instant success. He spent one full year posting a blog post every day and didn't see much out of it. But I kept on going. Because Johnny believed people could find real value in the post he was sharing. He had no problem to keep writing them until they reached the right eyes. I believe every person should have a blog, to be honest. The worst case scenario is you've got this cool record of everything you've done. And the best case scenario is that people can find it interesting and get value from it. But on top of his consistency, what made Johnny stick out as a creator is being authentic. So I'm not such a professional blogger. I don't go to places and just plan then all my content around it. Personally, I just try to live the life that I want to live. And then if people find it interesting, they can follow along. And because of that, after one year of hard work, his blog started gaining more and more readers to the point where over 100,000 people enter Johnny's website every month to see what he's up to. And thanks to those annoying ads between every paragraph, I get paid for every person who reads my blog. And he also landed some amazing deals with travel agencies, insurance companies, and hosting platforms who offered to sponsor a post on his website. I always say something that means a lot to me. Social media is for your ego. Your website is for your bank account. His website was generating enough income for him to say goodbye to his temporary gigs. Instead, he just did more awesome things and saw more awesome places, then went back to his computer and wrote about it. My most popular posts are probably the ones about me talking about visiting every country in the world. And without the blog, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So that's some really cool closure. Now Johnny managed to buy himself a new house mortgage free. And he's on a quest to become the first person who visits every country and visits both the North Pole and the South Pole. And blogging's also allowed me to show my mum the world too. After a few tough years, she's now been to more than 50 or so countries. He is the perfect example of how starting a simple blog can really push your everyday life one step forward. 